All right, guys. Uh, shit. So the last video I posted, what? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm playing with my hair. It looks kind of shitty. Anyway, whatever. Anyway, the last video that I posted was the wrong topic. So I'm sorry that like whoever saw it, like I took it down really fast. And um, yeah. So like this week's topic was supposed to be like a free topic, and I was like, oh crap. I'm sorry. So. Now I'm making a video for that, and, um, I really need a hat. I'll be right back. Alright, that'll have to do. Anyway, so, <clears throat> sorry, I'm blasting zombie vandals in the background. Hell yeah, yeah! Anyways, so yeah, um, free topic. Uh, I guess I'll talk about comic books, because I love comic books. I'll like tell you some of the comics that I have. I'll take you with me. Alright. Alright. <clears throat> um second one, oh my god. Like most fucking amazing artist I have ever like seen ever. Uh, um so Jeff Darrow is the artist and it's called Hard Boiled. And um this one was amazing. It was like a lot of like psycho psychological stuff about this guy that was like going around like killing people or whatever. He's like, I don't know what's going on, and it turns out that like he is a machine and all of his memories are false and like a lot of the people that he's with are like working for the company that he's working for and he's actually like some kind of assassin dude. So, yeah, that one's really awesome. Um, uh, next one I have is Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. It's by the same guy that, um, does Invader Zim. Pretty sweet. Um, his art style is crazy, but it's, like, this goth kid that's, like, talks about stuff in society, and he's kind of psychotic. Alright, this next one is called Kill Audio. This one is actually, like, really sweet, because, um... It was, like, about these things where there's, like, a person in control of each genre of music, and they have to keep all of the genres in line or whatever, and, like, sound is bad or something like that. I don't... It's been a while since I read it again, but, like, it's really awesome. Um, this one... It was a really great, like, short story, Mesmo Delivery. It's basically, like, this guy that's being, uh, driven, like, by this truck driver. Basically, what he has to do is, like, I think he goes out, and they come across these guys, and they get in a fight, and he kills them. And I think he's, like, supposed to kill the guy or whatever. I don't know. It's, like, there wasn't a specific plot or anything. Um, Pigeons from Hell, I haven't read this one yet, but it's by a guy that teaches at the school that I go to, his name is Nathan Fox, and his artwork is, like, phenomenal, so you should check him out if you're into comics and you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> this one's really funny, it's called Pure Trance, by this chick called Junko Mizuno, and... What it basically is, is porn. Yeah. Um, it's like all these... It takes place in a futuristic setting. And, um... It's like... The, there's these things that are like pills... That are like food, but they're really tasty. And apparently they're addictive. So, like, there's all these chicks that are just like... Eating them... Like, a lot. And... Dying and stuff. So, it's like... There's nurses and stuff, you know, with the big syringes and the sexy tiny suits and the, and all I remember is that the ending was like really fucked up. So you should read that one. Next one that I have is probably like one of the best best series that I've ever read. Um I only have four through ten with me right now. But um it's called The Sandman. I guess the Sandman is not written anywhere. Oh yeah, the Sandman series. Um, it started way back in the 80s, I think. And it's basically about this guy 
who is the physical embodiment of a uh, dream. And there's like these seven people, there's like dream and death and despair and hope. But like hope turned into delirium and now she's like this little like fucked up chick that her hair is always changing. But it's basically about the guy dream and all the different stories that um, happens like when he, like what he comes across. I don't know. How to explain. Then there's the classic Spawn. You can't not like Spawn. Spawn is a badass. Um, yeah. Um, there's always Tank Girl. Tank Girl, I haven't read the actual series, but I have, like, a few, um, like, individual offshoots that I've read. <laughs> Toxic Gumbo. This was a really strange, like, strange comic. Um, about this girl who's, like, born, obviously, and then she goes to, like, this church where these nuns watch her. It's kind of like an orphanage type of thing. But she, like, gets into, like, the sciencey stuff and, like, chemicals, and she basically, like, eats all these chemicals and stuff so that, like, she becomes super immune to all this shit, and, like, her blood and spit is toxic. It's just so crazy. Alright, this is probably, like, the best series that I've ever read, and if you've ever heard of, like, gonzo journalism and, like, Hunter S. Thompson, which she was, like, a, uh, like, a scandalous is the word, uh, journalist writer, like, way back in the day. Ooh, I like it when it's dark, my eyebrows look darker. <laughs> anyway, um, Transmetropolitan is basically this guy, Spider Jerusalem, pff, you can never figure out where to put my finger. Um, Spider Jerusalem, he's based off of Hunter S. Thompson, pretty much, but put in, like, a hyper, not hyper, but, like, super futuristic, um, setting, where, uh, there's a shit going on with the president, which basically represents, I think, like, Nixon or something like that, and, but yeah, the, the cover is by that same guy that did Hard Boiled, Jeff Darrow. Amazing! Serenity Rose amazing. It's about this girl who's a witch, and the art style is fantastic, and it's just, it's, re it's really cute. You should read it. And, um, Doro Hedro, like, I mean, I like manga, but sometimes, like, a lot of the stories are the same, you know, and a lot of the art styles are just, I don't know, it gets too cutesy or, like, stupid or whatever, which, I mean, sometimes it's good. I like cutesy and stupid. But sometimes you just, like, want the awesome shit that a lot more, like, American comics can provide you with. But, um, this manga, Doro Hedro, is really amazing. Um, it's, but it, like, takes place in an industrialized sort of city place. I guess kind of futuristic, I guess. You can see he's got a gas mask and stuff. And it's basically this guy, he's really big and he's got, like, a lizard head. And... He's trying to find the guy that turned his head into a lizard head because the world that they live in is made up of, of like, wizardy people and stuff. I forget exactly what they call it. But yeah, there's that. Um, everyone likes Pyoko. Pyoko is so cute. Like, you just, you can't deny her. She's adorable. Look at that. <laughs> um, this is, actually, I'm gonna go back one. This is a really weird manga. Not mainstream, uh, it's really good. Leia, the witch of Red Poo. It's basically a bunch of short stories about this chick who's a witch. But the art style is really great, and it's sort of cute, and it's pretty funny. Um, Muzz! This is fucking crazy. Like, it doesn't make any sense. The artist, FSC, or Foos, I don't know how to say it right. This story is crazy, it's about this chick who gets caught where um, all the imaginary friends go when they die, they're on this train and they're going to this one place, but then, like, stuff gets messed up, and there's this huge scandal behind her or whatever. So yeah, uh, I hope you liked them. I hope you check out some of them if you're into comic books and stuff. Um, and if you, if you know any good comic books, please, by all means, like, tell me. I want to know about them. Anyway, so yeah, catch you later, I guess.